This is a banana shot. And here's how you play them. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. If you just played a handful of shots on a snooker table then you'll probably be aware that the cue ball doesn't always move in straight lines and there's two different ways to make it change direction without it even coming into contact with another ball. And the first of these is simply side spin. Striking the cue ball slowly to the left or right of centre will prevent it from running straight along the bed of the table. This is significant but it isn't a whole lot of movement and you don't really see the cue ball arc properly until you strike down on it and play a swerve shot. But that's not what this video is about. This is how you can use topspin and backspin to make the cue ball arc on the cloth in exactly the same way as Judd Trump does in all of his exhibition shots. And one of the main differences is, this isn't just a subtle change in direction. The second way, however, can be a lot more dramatic. I know when I pop the black here, that the cue ball's gonna go in the opposite direction to the black. But what happens if the cue ball then has a lot of backspin or topspin on it? Well, the simple answer is the cue ball no longer runs away from the black in a straight line. So what's actually happening here? Well, if I want to put the blue on this shot, I've got to play the cue ball along this straight line. And if I play the shot with maximum backspin, that means the cue ball is going to come away from the blue at about a 90 degree angle. However, the spin I've got on the cue ball won't actually change direction. So it'll still be trying to spin back towards me. And that means when it's traveling that way, but spinning back towards me, it will begin to make the cue ball arc. So here's what you need to do to make that happen. To play these shots, you've got to be able to strike the cue ball with as much spin as you possibly can. And a great way to practice playing top spin shots is to just simply pop the ball and run through it off while playing it as slow as possible. And that way you build and build on the amount of top spin you can get on the ball. The point of this exercise is to try to spin the cue ball towards the pocket at the slowest speed possible, rather than just using power to get it across the table. After just a few shots you'll be pushing the cue through further and more smoothly and you'll visibly be able to see a difference between that and how you started off running the cue ball through. And that will make a difference, but not as much of a difference as the amount you're able to screw the ball back. This time, if you play the shot slightly off straight and just try to screw back the cushion, you'll start off not quite cueing the ball perfectly, not quite generating the spin, but as you start playing more and more shots like this, you'll able, be able to hit the ball slower and with more confidence. Effectively, by using a long and slow follow-through, you'll be able to generate more backspin with less effort. This will actually work on any angle shot, but as I was saying earlier, it actually works best where the cue ball comes away from the object ball at a 90 degree angle. However, when you play a shot with maximum top spin or maximum backspin, they come away from the object ball at different angles. So when you're playing a shot with top spin, you want more of a three-quarter ball angle, somewhere between three-quarter and half ball. And when you're playing a shot with backspin, to get that 90 degree angle, you want a shot that's more or less about half ball to get it to really arc on the table. The third thing is distance. It won't arc anywhere near as much from that far away, even if I cue it really well, compared to being here. It's not just easier to make the cue ball arc, it actually arcs more from this position because I'm closer. But if the cue ball gets too close to the object ball, it starts to reduce the amount it arcs again. A foot and a half is about right. Now to something I hope I pronounce right, Dan is from Levid in the Ukraine. Most of the time, these types of shots are more of a hindrance than a help as you unintentionally play them when you're trying to open the pack of reds. And that's one of the reasons you'll often see players trying to play these shots with as little spin as possible. And that's why you'll mainly see these types of shots used as exhibition shots, which to be honest, I'm not very good at. 
and to be honest my table isn't the fastest so even if I do get the cue ball going in the right direction it doesn't necessarily end up going anywhere. What you don't necessarily see on these types of shots is sometimes the cue balls bounced into the object ball or played with a small trace of side spin which the shot wouldn't actually work without. On all of these shots however you have to be very careful as you end up striking the cue ball at full power right at the very edge of the ball so on every single shot there's a good chance you might miss cue it. But as long as you understand what you're doing there's no harm in giving them a try even if the cue ball does go nowhere near where you want it to. If you want to find out more about playing shots with spin in snooker then find out what the trick is to snooker side spin shots. And why not find out whether or not Chris Henry's snooker balls could actually improve your game. And remember, don't just watch play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. And visit the website. See you later.